Hello everybody, my name is Spoons Rattling, and welcome to the finale of my series with Painting Chaos Space Marines. This is episodes on Emperor's Children. First we start with the bat in black, you just cover the entirety of the armor with this, uh, and I would also recommend covering the weapons with it now, as this just helps make corrections later on easier. And since it's black on black, you really only need one coat, even if it's rather thin. It'll just make sure that the black is strong, consistent, and if you have to repair anything, it won't dry with a different finish to the paint below it. So simply work your way around the model, getting all the areas. Um, and just try to make sure the paint's nice and thinned as, you don't, so, as to not clog up any detail. This is what the model looks like with all that paint applied. <laughs> Ignore that, that was a mistake. So then I use a dry brush with heavy blue-gray, and I just do this all over the model, as it catches most of the details uh, and highlights them easily. Since a lot of this armor is going to be black, uh, this just makes highlighting the black a lot easier. In fact, it makes it so easy, I'm pretty sure anyone can do it. So here's what the model looks like with all the gray applied. I was a bit heavy with my dry brush, but you could do a little lighter if you prefer. However, I quite like how this looks. Then next, we use uh, Squid Pink from Vallejo to paint in the armor panels. Now, the Emperor's Children being, you know, obsessed with perfection and martial perfection, they're also obsessed with individualism, right? They never want to be seen as one and the same. So for each Emperor's Children, they paint their armor themselves, leaving certain parts black and, of course, painting the other parts pink. So for each Emperor's Children you paint, what's pink and what isn't is going to be different. Now for this one, I decided to do most of the right side of the body. Uh, so his leg, his arm, his shoulder pad, uh, I painted all that pink. And with this pink, it actually only took a couple coats to get it to a nice, strong pink. And I also glazed as well, just to make sure the finish was nice and smooth. It almost has a sort of plasticine, soft look. It, it's quite interesting. I quite like it. So once you've, got, once you've got your pink down, you're pretty much done with the armor. Now you're just, uh, I'd recommend going back around and doing some corrections. Uh, so patching up any areas that look a bit too dusty, like uh, on the elbow pads or stuff like that. You can see me just doing some corrections, as well as uh, painting anything that's supposed to be uh, black. That I actually painted pink, I also painted that black. And I painted the weapons black at this point as well. So just paint all around and uh, get it all over the areas and make sure that the paint is smooth and gets nice coverage. Again, this is just a nice step. I like to do it every so often to sort of clean the model up to help visualize what it's going to look like. And then the next step, which you might have caught a glimpse of in that little time lapse, is uh, moot green. We're going to use this for the eyes. Uh, so I used quite a large brush, but it held a nice point, so I just ran it into the eye socket and got it nice and green. Uh, and then, of course, I did take the black again to fix up any spillage, because there's usually going to be some using just straight paint. If you prefer to use the wash method, uh, use uh, Coelia Green Shade, I believe is what it's called, over white ink or paint. And then we're going to move on to, uh, well, here you can see me doing a little bit more correction work on some areas that, in my opinion, looked a little too dusty from the uh, heavy dry brush earlier. Once you got all that, you're pretty much done with that step, and then we're just on to the metallics. First metallic I tend to do is the uh, gunmetal, and I used lead belcher here. You could use any any uh, gunmetal you prefer. So you use this on everything you'd expect: the metallic bits of the bolt pistol, the metallic blades and sort of hooks and spikes on the chainsaw, uh, and then the inside of the intakes and outtakes for the jump pack. Okay, I guess I just left in a large section of me not painting, but here we go. Uh, and then on these raptors specifically, there's quite a few sections that have grills, uh, mainly on the left shoulder pad. On the knee pads, there'll be sections that are just covered in grills. Uh, paint those in as well. And, and if you're not using this sort of corrupted beaky helmet, you'd obviously want to paint in the Vox Caster unit with this gunmetal as well. I believe it's the uh, Vox Grill, Vox Caster. Tomato, tomato, I suppose. Um... Yeah, so just go around and paint all this stuff. Just should take a second. And with uh, painting metallics over black, especially uh, like gunmetal, uh, it usually paints just fine in one coat. 
And with that, the paint job is pretty much completely done. Next, uh, I made sort of my own Caraburn Crimson using Screamer Pink thinned down with medium and water. Though I'd recommend actually just using Caraburn Crimson, as we'll see here in a moment. Uh, I did overload this, but it just took a second to get back into the groove of things. Paint this over all the pink to give it a nice smooth finish with a bit more depth to the color. As well, I do quite like the finish, I don't think it quite fits the look we're going for. It's too soft looking, like almost plush. So adding this adds a little bit of that grittiness, almost like it's pink, you know, that light, fun color of pink, but with a little bit of that red, bloody undertone. So just go around and get it all down and try not to let it pool too much, though I did let it pool a little by accident. And then for the final step, uh, I just used Agrax Earthshade. Oh, and by the way, I just did the base the normal way I do it. Texture paste, paint the rim, dry brush after a wash, you're good. Then I used normal oil on all the metallic bits, so the various grills, the uh, jump pack intakes and outtakes, and the entirety of the chainsaw and animal pistol. I just wanted to keep it simple, so I just used all normal oil. Uh, well, not normal oil. Agrax Earthshade. So I think it... Yeah, it was Agrax Earthshade. Was it? It was normal oil. No, it was normal oil. Sorry, sorry. I might have said that wrong. But you can see it in the video. And then, here's what the finished product looks like. I actually quite enjoy painting the uh, Emperor's Children. Painting the pink is very fun, and I quite enjoy it. So here's a sort of spin. And I also like the green eyes. But again, I really like painting this pink, and the squid pink's a very interesting paint. I'm going to try and do more fun stuff with it. But anyways, I have been your host, Spoons Rattling. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, just as a heads up, we're just like getting crazy amounts of subscribers. We just hit 100 two days ago, and we're already at like 150. I, I just can't believe it. Thank you guys for all the support. Again, I've been Spoons Rattling. See ya.